Thank you for joining us for another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions, in which we address hard-hitting and important questions to divers, diving professionals, and sometimes even diving doctors. In this case, we have a diving professional asking about whether or not doing two, three dives a day regularly for long periods of time, whether or not dive leaders are actually off-gassing adequately. Well, all we can tell you is that it has been found amongst divers that go for, let's say, a dive trip, that around about the third and fourth day, there is an increase in cases of decompression illness on the first dive and then after the third or fourth day. Now, this is somewhat different to someone who has been diving on and on and on and on because in the process of doing so there is actually a certain amount of conditioning and therefore we find counterintuitively that diving professionals that don't dive to extremes but do dive virtually every day don't get decompression illness as regularly as one might think. In fact, the incidence is less than the average recreational diver. So the answer to your question is that yes, if you are diving two, three dives a day, on, 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 no dive computer, no dive model can really keep track of how inert gas is moving through your body. It just becomes too complex and it is impossible to predict how gas can move between compartments because we don't really function in the rigid compartments of time that the tables and computer models are based on. Having said that, if one can, on occasion, take a day off, that's a good idea, and secondly, observing all the necessary precautions that one can, which may include not only doing safety stops, but even considering nitrox. Those would be additional safeguards that uh, diving instructors may consider. So I hope that gives you something to at least think about, but the bottom line is that it is not going to be possible to have an actual profile record that is going to give you a pinpoint accuracy as to whether you are at risk of decompression illness or not. The best we can do is actually give you so-called probabilities. In other words, what the chances are of you getting decompression sickness or decompression illness, either immediately or after a period of time. Those calculations can be done and there's software that allows one to do that and Dan Europe through a dive safety laboratory with Dan Southern Africa collaborating with them have gone a long way in answering questions such as these. So we encourage you to actually email us at info at or medic at and ask these questions and specifically even participate in project dive exploration or dive safety laboratory because we can then actually measure bubbles after diving and that may give a better indication of decompression stress irrespective of what the numbers on the computer say. I hope that gives you something to think about and that it has addressed some of the issues that relate to diving multiple days. Thank you very much for joining us for Dan Frequently Asked Questions and until next time, safe diving.